Hey everyone guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ and I have another Dark Souls video for you. Not to be redundant, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen my How to Kill the First Boss video where I kind of cheese him because I'm playing my Pyromancer and I fire him to death. But I got a great viewer question and the question was, what if I have no fire? That's a good point because I gave you raw footage of me playing my Pyromancer, I didn't really give you tactics on how to beat him. Well here, in this video, I'll give you tactics on how to beat him while I'm using my Thrive. Now of course, I was hoping not to die by him but he does get me once and that's to be expected because he is actually kind of tough especially when you don't have any gear if i was a warrior or something with some kind of levels first i'd be able to get him but so it goes okay so the first thing i want to mention is when you pull the sword you can instantly start doing damage to him and also when he changes faces but to be careful what i like to do is you just time him right and you wait for him to jump and when he jumps, you get two good attacks on him. Now, don't forget about your weapon skill. Alright, so he jumps, I get my attacks, and then I roll out of there. Now, I'm not doing much damage, but I am at the prime, then I'm using a stick to try to kill him. But I'm doing the best I can here. I actually do really well before he gets a chance to kill me. So avoid all that crazy stuff. Let's play it safe. Now when he's going to jump, you notice he sidesteps. See him going backwards instead of towards me? So then I'm just going to run out of the way. I'm going to hit him two times. I actually get him three there. And then roll out. Now see right there? I should have hit him another couple times. Because he was transforming into a second phase. And the first thing he does when he transforms into a second phase. Is he does a long sweep. So you, you hit him a couple times. And then you avoid him. It's kind of get the better of me. I didn't know at this time that he would jump straight up in the air. Now most of his attacks are at a longer range, so if you get right up on him, it's hard for him to get you. Right now he's not really giving me time to breathe, and I'm trying to time him correctly. It just seems like everything is working out of my favor, but we'll get him. So it gets me, well, you know, worse things have happened. But I get another shot at him. I want to get my other shot. I'll definitely get him. Alright, so just watch out for this guy. I tried a heart attack. Uh, not so good at it. Club kind of makes you jump. Alright, dispose of this guy real quick. Wait for this guy's fire, then roll. Beat him down. First thing we're going to do is get our souls. Now we lose the advantage of doing the little initial damage to him, but that's okay away from our souls. Run and pick them up. Alright, here we go. Now let's try again. Alright, so we're watching him. He jumps. And then we get two good attacks. There was one, but you can always get two. If you try three, sometimes that might end up with you dying. Alright, so I used my skill. Okay, so he's sidestepping. Means he's going to jump. There we go. One, two. Back off. Alright. Now he's going to start his wild sweeping attacks. Alright. Watch him. Oh, here comes some more rushing attacks. Alright, now he's sidestepping. About to jump. Alright, here he comes. And there we go. Hit him a couple times and roll out. Alright, we're getting him now. Definitely gonna get him. Alright, here's his jump. So I noticed he started to move a little bit erratically that time, so I only got one of the attacks in. But he's almost down to a second form. Sidestepping, so I'm waiting on him, and here's his jump. Alright, there we go, we got him. I'm just gonna transform. Now here comes the sweeping attack first. There it is. Just avoid that. Now you want to kind of get in close. He doesn't have much of an answer for it. He will stomp you. He'll jump straight up in the air. Alright, here he is jumping at me. Alright, there we go. So after he attacks, get a couple in here. And roll out. So when you get very close to him, he doesn't really have much for you, which is kind of something that you would think to avoid by looking at that guy. So he got me there. I have to 
back off and heal. Take your time. Here comes this jump. All right, there we go. Ooh, watch out for that snake head. The abyss. All right, time to finish him off. There you have it, guys. It's easy as that. If I can beat him with this guy, you guys can beat him with your favorite class. No problem. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. It's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ. And as usual, like and subscribe if you want to see some more Dark Souls 3. Thanks, guys.